Hey, hey, hey. Time for another out of this world story from our space. Found that she was cheating on me with a celebrity. On mobile, English is not my first language. A rather long one. Got any popcorn? I, 40, have been married to her, 36, for 12 plus years now. Two kids, 12 female, 10 male. Very bright and wonderful kids. In the past two years, my daughter has begun to show a bit of rebellious behavior towards her mother. My daughter would only listen or do when I ask or tell her to. She has a bit of hate to her mom. I wouldn't pay attention too much as her mom would give me a hard time almost every day. I have been on the receiving end of her psychological and emotional abuse for a couple of years. I'm much bigger than her, so I thought I could handle it, but it has taken a toll on my well-being. So we went to therapy in February. She didn't want to go back even though I saw that we made some progress. Our hashtag DB problem kept going on though. Back in June, one day I began to fear that she was cheating on me. You must know that my wife is quite attractive, is quite active on Facebook and Instagram, has lots of friends and even goes to concerts with her lady friends. I never thought she would betray me, but my fears got the best of me. One day she left the house to run some errands and forgot her cell on my desk, so I tried to unlock it. I searched her social media and found proof. Hundreds of messages between her and a person with an alias, sexting, pictures, and a video of someone opening an envelope, pulling out a university degree, his daughter's. With the daughter's full name and display, it was easy for me to find out his name. It's all public information. I found that he is a musician and quite the celebrity in my country. I actually liked one of his songs. Not anymore. I created copies of all the messages and locked the phone and left it on the same place she left it. By the way, the errands were exactly what you were thinking. That day, I didn't say anything, but the wife noticed that I was sad. That same night, she would hug me and tell me she doesn't like to see me sad. Her efforts to comfort me only fueled my anger, but I kept the real reason to myself. The next night when my kids were dreaming, I calmly told her that I wanted a divorce. She was shocked. When asked for a reason, I said one word, infidelity. She denied everything, but I countered with the name and alias of her lover. She said I was overreacting that nothing had happened. I countered by reciting word by word what that had been talking about on the day before. Then I told her that I knew everything, that I saw all the sexting and photos she would send him. Not the whole contents of their conversations, but enough to see that they were at it like there was no tomorrow. She played victim, bawling, claiming that she needed sex, and I countered that I had been doing everything in my power to revive the passion between us, but she would be distant with me and kill the mood every single time. She begged for forgiveness, begged that I would keep quiet about this, begged to be my wife again, and I, in my strong love for her, forgave her. But there were conditions, no more aggressions. She would give me the same time and attention I gave her. Fast forward to last week. The relationship has been slowly improving for a while, but I noticed she was stressed and anxious. So, fearing the worst again, I talked to her. She was trying to see me as her husband, not just as a friend. She was trying not to hurt me anymore, but had done some aggression to me since then. She said that I was too good for her. She had me on a pedestal, that she did not deserve me. I told her that I still loved her, and she immediately countered that she couldn't. By now you may have noticed that she is, in fact, emotionally unstable. Anyways, she suggested that we separated for a while. I agreed and I moved in with my parents. Strangely enough, she did not take this well. The kids suffered a lot, but we kept them cool with a soothing speech about daddy and mommy's self-healing and efforts to improve our relationship. They are smart and got it quite quickly. And now today. I went home to see the kids for a bit. The wife tried to get me to sleep the night in our bed, but I told her it was not possible. She apologized for everything in front of the kids. She did not mention the infidelity, but admitted that she had hurt daddy deeply, begged for forgiveness once again. I took the kids to the rooms and kissed them goodnight. Then we spoke again. When I mentioned something about her swimsuit Instagram pictures, I had a very poor choice of words, and instead of being encouraging to help her break the cycle of abuse she was admitting us to, it turned against me. I apologized, but she asked me to leave. On my way out, it happened. Remember my daughter's hatred? My daughter stopped me from leaving and asked me if I was okay. I explained what had transpired and explained myself. Fear, jealousy, and a broken heart were the triggers for what I said, and that I had hurt mom. My daughter countered, Has she hurt you? I couldn't answer, but she saw it on my face, in my eyes. And that's when she told me she had to tell me something that she had kept secret for almost two years. She knew. She had seen the texting while riding on the car with her mom, while going with her on a concert of the guy. She even met him. 
While I was away at work, breaking my back, making sure food would always be on the table, my daughter's words. She had even confronted her mother on this. She knew this was beyond wrong, but my wife would counter saying it was her imagination and that this would cause a misunderstanding between mom and dad that would end up in an ugly divorce. That's why she kept quiet for almost two years. This truly broke my soul. I couldn't talk to my wife today. I felt that I would say or do something that I could regret. I know that my wife grew up on a troubled household. Her parents are people you cannot count on. Her elder sisters, as unstable as she is. She is not a bad person and has done her best to be a good mom. I believe in second chances. I, myself, have been given one when I almost died years ago. Boring story of a close encounter with the Grim Reaper. I want to forget this and forgive my wife, but I have told my daughter that her mom needs to change, and that takes time. Daughter has asked me if I can take her with me. I will, but first I need to check with my lawyer. I, on the other hand, need help. Would probably get a therapist real soon. I am considering divorce, but I am not sure, as you already know. I have told my kids that I will always be right next to them when they need me. What do I do with the hatred my daughter has for her mom? Should I also tell the musician's family of his transgressions? Thank you for making it this far. Update 1. At all. Thank you for the overwhelming support and advice, save for a single unhelpful comment. She cut off ties with the affair partner. I'm not in the US. Laws here would be on my side on matters related to money and property. Infidelity is the key word for lawyers. Laws favor the mother in regards to custody. At a certain age and approved by a judge, kids can choose who they want to live with. I know that my daughter will choose me without skipping a beat. My son, dunno. Hopefully, he will follow Big Sis's example. I'll meet with a lawyer and explore my options. Some have suggested that I rat out the musician. I would rather bide my time, but I have already located his adult daughter. I will probably show her the evidence, but this is last on my list. My priority now is therapy, so I'm already searching for one that can see me during these crazy times due to corona. Update 2. A fair partner's daughter will never know, not from me. I have removed this from my list. Update 3. It's been weeks and a lot of things have happened. All of those who have provided support and advice, thank you. Daughter and I are going to therapy. Wife is too, don't know the details, but she wants to keep me informed. She seems to genuinely want to rebuild our marriage. Lawyer gave me my options. I will consider them after I go through my therapist. Update four. This will be my last update for a long time or the last one ever. I informed the affair partner's wife a long time ago, long before this update. Today, she just reached out to me she felt ready to talk. Things exploded on the affair partner's face. Karma did its thing. The affair partner is in trouble now. My daughter has decided to forgive her mother, her decision, and I respect it. She won't forget what her mom did and she clearly explained this to her mom. It's like mom will be on indefinite parole. Wife has allowed her actions speak for her. She has changed and behaves like the woman I married. She has shyly hinted that we could get back together. Good for her, but I'm not convinced. So, I will observe her. Meanwhile, I will go back to school, finish my degree, work out, and focus on me. And if I meet someone, well, we'll see. I feel a lot better. Life is too short for me to linger on the pain. Time to be happy. Thank you all, and take care. OP. Update. Separation. Found that my 41 male wife, 46, was cheating with a celebrity musician who was the same age as her father. It's been almost 18 months since I found out. During therapy, we found that soon-to-be ex-wife had severe unresolved psychological issues that contributed in her choice to cheat. Still, it is totally unjustified to cheat, her words. She loves and cares for me from the bottom of her heart and regrets everything. After a lot of soul searching, I decided to initiate the divorce process. We must first live in separate places. The kids will stay in my house as it's the place they grew up in. Soon-to-be ex-wife will not get the house or my motorcycle. She'll keep the car and her money. I'll keep 90% of mine. In my country, this is a huge win for a male betrayed spouse. I'll give soon-to-be ex-wife a hand in her transition process, for the kid's sake. Thank you all for the good advice and huge support. Also for the insults I got. They opened my eyes. My daughter is doing a lot better. Her grades are very high and she is happy knowing that I am always available to her at any time. We have grown closer and share a lot of time together. I'm her favorite. Her words. Also, she no longer hates her mom. She understands that her mom made a huge mistake and will have to live with the consequences. She pities her and wishes to be like we used to be, but in her wisdom, she prefers two happy homes to a single unhappy one. I quit my job and started working on my family business. 
Lots of great opportunities coming. Thanks. Update. X is on her phone. Yep, you guessed it, the affair partner. Today is her birthday. So the family got together and we celebrated. Great food, by the way. The cake was delicious. I dressed up as elegant as I could. She looked at me with the same eyes of that young woman in love when she became mine. I just smiled and remained cordial. Ugh. I was socializing around and my daughter tapped me very aggressively on my shoulder and gave me a look that she wanted to talk. Now. So we put some distance from the party and she tells me that she just saw her mom send X a nice picture we took of her. Yep, X is the affair partner contact on her phone. She recognized the picture immediately. I thought she cut contact with him, but who cares? I was trying to be her friend and asked her not to contact the affair partner until we were completely divorced. Guess she could not hold on her emotions. Huh, <laughs> what a pitiful woman. Daughter asked me what I thought about it, and my immediate reply was, pity. Soon to be ex-wife really needs help. Daughter will have a talk with her. I asked our daughter to think carefully what she wants to say and not to insult her. Daughter's response, I do not intend to do that. I just want to make it clear that she violated your trust once again, one too many times. Shame on her. Poor woman has no self-respect. Love you guys. I'm okay, so don't worry too much. Update. Happy 2022, all. Wanted to give a short update on me and my family. Kids, taken care of. School will remain the same for them. They will live in my house. Soon to be ex-wife? Not clear how the dynamic between us will be. All I know is that we will be co-parenting the little ones. She's looking for an apartment, close to where my house is. She now sees me as a friend, but is sad for the future. Divorce? Still no changes. Need to wait till March. Me? Buying a new motorcycle. CRF 1100L or F800 GSA. Not sure yet. Maybe not buy it yet and invest it. Individual counseling for me. During the sessions, my anger is gone. Still a bit sad though. Almost 15 years down the drain, but have learned a lot. Hotel? Trivago. P.S. I keep contact for the co-parenting situation. That's it. Update. It's been a long time since my last update. I received a lot of good advice and wake-up calls too on my first post. I now know what I did wrong and what I did right in my relationship with her. Like everyone else, I'm human. I'm not perfect. But never a cheater. Never backstabbed her in front of the in-laws, etc. So, on to the update. Legal counsel made recommendations that we needed to follow, so we had to try therapy. Didn't work since the get-go. I can't forget her transgressions, and she can't forget my little defects. Shocker. Went back to the lawyers, and she offered not to go after my house. She also wants a modest alimony. I could go and crush her, but my lawyer told me that this is a very good thing for me, economically and custody-wise. The children are legally old enough to choose which parent they want to live with, so we'll let them decide, and I get to keep most of my assets. We'll split custody unless the children decide to live with one of us. I'll have to rent out my house to cover my side of child support. She'll cover her side. It will be proportionately fair. We have agreed to keep communication respectful and cordial for the kids and for our peace of mind. If the in-laws inquire on my reasons, I will tell them that when my kids are legal adults, I will share the details. That's it. I'll post again when I'm officially divorced, currently separated, feeling confused and lost. But I'm starting to feel happy. I will focus on that. Kids haven't been told yet. We are still polishing the details on how. P.S. The affair partner. Oh boy, where do I start? 2020. When the whole thing blew up, I informed affair partner's betrayed spouse. She thanked me and blocked me. On that same day, I sent a screenshot of him sexting with my wayward wife and told him to stay away from my wayward wife. Then I blocked him. 2022. Last week. He reached out to her to ask her to ask me to stop. Stop what? I said. I was greatly confused. Apparently, someone has been harassing him, his family, his clients, and his friends in social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc. The fun part? I am not doing any of that. I have always been trying to forget his existence, trying to never think about him and the nasty things him and Wayward Wife did behind my back. Why do I know? She confronted me asking if I had anything to do with that because she is fearing a lawsuit. I told her that I had nothing to do with it and she did not believe me. I told her I could not care any less if she didn't. This pissed her off and I simply left when she wanted to fight. If he files a lawsuit, he'll need proof, and it doesn't exist, as I have no part in this. I guess karma did its thing after all. PPS. I'll be back in the market one day, when the triggers are under control. PPPS. I'll check with my daughter again, but I'm sure she is not harassing the dirty affair partner. Our first comment comes from Rage Sadness All in One. I hope it's not your daughter going after him on social media. I know she was brought in by your ex and forced to keep a secret and had a lot of anger. 
Kids are super smart and she could easily make a few fake profiles and troll him for what he participated in doing to her and her family. Sounds like your ex isn't the only one he was doing this with, so there are probably a lot of other candidates who are looking to expose him. Just concerned when you mentioned a lawsuit. Isabel0110 closes us out. I seriously had this terrible toxic issues with my husband. It annoys me that they always try to argue or deny it. Been praying to get a positive way of it until I was able to get it handled when I got evidence of him cheating and he couldn't deny anymore and pleaded for forgiveness. They are many things on their phones which you don't know about until you get help. I also got help from a friend and I thank God for it because I had solid proof and he couldn't deny anymore.